Well, the violent left is a growing force in American politics and life, from here in Washington to Portland, Oregon, to the Bay Area. And yet, even now, movements like Antifa remain mostly mysterious to news consumers. You most of the time just see them when they riot, a couple 30-second clips, and that's about it. What is it like inside these groups, and what motivates their members? Connor Barnes spent years as part of an anarchist community. He later left the movement and has published a pretty remarkable essay about his experiences in Quillette, which is excellent, by the way. Connor Barnes joins us tonight. Connor, thanks a lot for coming on. Um, I was really struck thanks by your piece. I don't think I've ever read an account. I know I've never read an account of what it's like to be at the, at the center of something like this. By the way, I have no idea what your politics are now. I'm not even going to ask you. But I was interested that you described this as like a religious community almost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is a, a really strong faith-based component. You become absolutely sure that you're right and nothing's going to sway you from it. You've, you've set your course. You've figured it out. So it didn't seem from your description like there were a lot of other inputs coming into the cell. It seemed almost totally self-referential. You talk only to people yeah. you're in it with. What are the things that you convinced yourself of or were convinced of when you were in this cell? Mm -hmm. Oh, just, gosh, everything. Uh, you were able to find what was wrong with everything from school to government to police to any interaction people had, you can find what's wrong with it. It's, a, it's not a very happy way to live. What was your uh, view of violence? So violence, there's a, there's a shifty way people talk about it. Uh, direct action and diversity of tactics, which is a subtle way of saying, if somebody wants to be violent, we're going to turn our head and be okay with it. So it's not a nonviolent movement? No, 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 no. Huh. It's, uh, how, did you, how did you get into it? I was a pretty unhappy teenager, and I'm told that happens a lot to teenagers, and I went looking for an explanation, and I ended up just reading a lot of radical literature and found more and more radical literature until I found things that explained that happiness wasn't something you had much control over, capitalism was keeping you down. Yes. How, what, mm. what spurred you to leave it? Mm. There were, I'd say there were two components. There was. Uh, there are nasty people in the scene, and I got mixed up with somebody, and that kind of shook me out of my headspace and forced me to reconsider things. And I just started reading wider and wider literature, and, you know, I encountered gradual things that made me go, oh, that totally changes, you know, that, that can't be true. You know, you, you get shocked out of the cult, bit by bit. Huh. huh. Interesting. Connor Barnes, I, I just want to say again to our audience, if you haven't read this piece, it's on Quillette. It's just so interesting. I've never seen anything like it. I really appreciate your coming thank on Thank you so tonight. much. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Tucker.